Dominican friars from Rwanda. Meditation on the Gospel of the 7th Thursday of Easter time, year A. Dear sisters and brothers, Jesus, to conclude his farewell discourses, he prays in the 17th chapter of the Gospel according to John. The verses we read today talk about the prayer he made for his church so that its unity may foster faith. The idea is simple. By looking at the unity of Christ to the Father and by valuing it, the disciples will emulate that love and unity between God the Father and God the Son. They will then become an attractive church to the rest, to the rest of the world. However, we know that it is not that simple. Dear sisters and brothers, the past of our church has proven that we see things differently. We have disagreed in terms of our salvation, the priorities in our mission, the attitude towards other religious traditions, even to make things more complicated, the way we read our church history. Some events seen by one part as shameful are considered as glorious by others. Some decisions praised by church members find themselves highly criticized by their brothers and sisters. So how can we pretend to leave that unity between the Father and the Son? And as we are approaching Pentecost, we cannot leave out the Holy Spirit. Unity is not uniformity. The fact that the Father loves the Son and they are one with the Spirit does not make the Father become the Son. The Holy Spirit does not love the Son and the Father by becoming one of them. Unity in the Trinity does not impose uniformity. Mutuality, responsibility, relationality, and self-giving are more needed in the Church for its unity, not conformity, not uniformity. As in the social model suggested by the theologian Leonardo Boff, while talking about our emulation of the Trinity, as church, we should respect and protect diversity, inclusion and participation, equality and mutual self-giving, avoiding competition or subordination or marginalization. Dear sisters and brothers, we will become one only when we do that, just as the Son is one with the Father. May Christ's prayer become also our prayer, inspiring unity fostering faith in the world. Amen.